You've written a book. I have. Thank you. Tell me about it. Yes. uh, We talked about it briefly earlier, but go ahead if you would. Tell me about that. The title is No Doesn't Always Mean No. And it's a guide to understanding how people think, act, and make decisions. So strategies for growing a business organization you care about learning how to form stronger bonds with people around you, both in a business context and a social context, learning how to interact with the opposite sex romantically in terms of reading body language, doing things that put your best foot forward that are not inauthentic. It's got information on the four major reasons why we fail to get people to align with our way of thinking, whether that's if you're trying to encourage them to buy something, you're trying to encourage them to be more of a trusted ally to you, things of that ilk. It's all about solving a lot of people problems and how the book itself came about is as a teenager, I used to write down all sorts of interesting facts from all different disciplines, science, social psych, I write them down, I keep notes on them. And I would use them in college when I used to cold call to sell goods online. And some of my friends would see like the notes I took, I'm like, wow, this stuff is really good. Like maybe you should put this out. And that's eventually how my blog, which I can mention later, and the book came to pass is I wrote these things down, people encouraged me to share them. So that's how they came to pass. And funny enough, I'm actually I'm going to release an audio version of that book as a year, as we hit 2023. So sometime in January or February, when this comes comes out, the recording audio version of it should come out then. But that's how the book came about. And it's my first baby. There will be another publish. Did you publish it yourself or did you have a publisher? Self-published it. What I did so. was I hired somebody to like do the artwork related to it, but then I just looked into like, okay, like what needs to be done to copyright it? How do you register it with the uh, National Library in DC? Right. I did all this stuff and I figured out how to do it myself. And it's like, if you wait for a publisher, you have to wait for a publisher. So as it, the general theme of the book is I'm very proactive, creative and problem solving. That's ironically, that's how the title came to pass is like, well, what's up with the title? Is it about forcing yourself on people? It's like, no, 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 it's not what the book's about. <laughs> It's about the importance of persistence and creativity and problem solving. And that was just another extent of it. It was actually a scientific principle called oscillation. It just means that when we make decisions, those decisions aren't set in stone and they can change if your preferences change, whether that's um, sometimes with age, like you, you, you might like certain foods, then you hate them now. Like for me, I used to love American cheese growing up. And then sometime in high school, I'm like, how can I eat this crap? It tastes terrible. Yeah. That's, a, that's a version of oscillation or someone who likes orange juice with, without pulp in it. And then without realize, pulp as opposed to pulp, yeah. Yes. Like your mind is in a, not in a constant state of flux, but it changes over time. And that, that's what that principle of oscillation comes to. And your yeses today could be no's tomorrow or vice versa. Hence the title of the book, No Doesn't Always Mean No. It's about getting more yeses into your life. And that's the science behind the title itself. Cool. Um, And you have another book you're going to start working on. Yeah, I've actually knee deep into that book. Um, I would say a lot of it's done. It's not done yet. Uh, I see myself publishing it within the next, I don't want to, page of my whole set myself in the no, summer no. it's going to come out sooner rather than later sometime in the next couple of years oh, this cool. book's not going to be on the um the seven elements that create strong bonds between people both in a social and professional context and there's going to be a section in there on how singles can find spouses that feel like they're made just for them funny enough that's sort of my current life state is like helping both myself and others figure out this $64,000 question, how do we find the matches that God would think would be best for us? So I cover some of that and how it's been done in some society, some of the intel related to that. That's going to be in the next book. So 